I'd like to give you an update on the emerald ash borer. That's an insect that's spreading toward Nebraska and it's going to cause a lot of damage to our ash trees when it gets here. We haven't found it yet in Nebraska, but we do know that it's in four states that are kind of adjoining Nebraska, like uh, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, and Colorado. But we haven't found it yet in Nebraska, uh, but we do expect it to be here pretty much any time. The insect is a small green beetle, and the adult lays eggs on the bark of ash trees, and the larvae that hatch from the, the eggs tunnel under the bark, and the damage that they do can be enough to cause branches to die back and eventually kill the whole tree. When adults leave the tree, they leave behind a very characteristic D-shaped exit hole that we can use to kind of identify that it's emerald ash borer that's been in there. There are treatments available that can be used to protect trees against emerald ash borer, but we're not recommending treatments at this time because it's not known to be in Nebraska. In Nebraska, we're following a guideline that most states that already have emerald ash borer are using. That's a 15 mile guideline that says that if you know that emerald ash borer is within 15 miles of where you are, then it's worth considering treating your trees to protect them. But if you don't know that emerald ash borer is within 15 miles of where you are, then the treatment has little or no value to you, but it does definitely cause harm either to the tree or potentially to other beneficial organisms in the environment. So we're not really recommending treatments at this time because it's not known to be in Nebraska or to be anywhere within 15 miles of any place in the state. If you do wonder whether you have emerald ash borer in your tree, I would suggest that you talk to a, an arborist or other tree care professional to help you figure that out because symptoms that, that are caused by that insect are very similar to things that are caused by many other things here that are already here in Nebraska. Uh, things that would cause the foliage to kind of thin out, branches to die back, um, holes to appear in the bark of trees. They look very similar, emerald ash borer and other things. So. Yeah, if you're wondering about that, contact an arborist or other tree care professional to help you figure out whether that's what you have or not. If you do have an ash tree, you might want to be thinking now about whether you'd want to treat a tree, your tree later when emerald ash borer does show up in the state within 15 miles of where you are. Trees that are good candidates for treating are ones that are high value, they're, they're attractive, they're in a good location. Um, maybe especially those that are already providing you a lot of good shade and wind protection. Trees that may not be worth treating are ones that might have a lot of dieback in them already. They're declining for other reasons. They may have decay showing up already. They may be in a bad location like next to a building or under power lines. So there are trees that won't be worth treating. If you do decide that you would like to treat your tree, later on, one thing to keep in mind is that one treatment won't be enough. You'll be needing to treat that tree every year or every two years for the remaining life of that tree.